Hey everyone, welcome to my most recent free flight model build. It's a while since I put a video out on free flights, so I thought my gollywalk was a great uh, subject to do a video on. So I won't do too much talking with regards to the actual construction of this model this time. Uh, I think the models and the photos can speak for themselves. However, if you do have any questions or in sort of specific info that you'd like about this model, feel free to drop a question in the comments and I'll be sure to respond to it. Enjoy the video guys, there is a little bit of flight video towards the end. Uh, limited at this point I'm working on getting some better recordings soon uh, but those really were the initial flights so um, perhaps a little bit of insight into the teething issues that you may have when you get a new model uh, going and they don't go straight off the board every time uh, as you'll see uh, the one video is considerably better than the other and that was with some relatively minor changes anyways as I said let me keep quiet now I'll let the photos do the talking and I'll catch you in the next one cheers for now I did promise not to talk too much in this video, but there is one specific point I'd like to mention, and that is that I've lightened the vertical fin. Uh, well, I hope I've lightened it a little bit by going for a built-up construction. I found that that was definitely necessary because I've still ended up using a considerable amount of nose weight, so I'd certainly recommend that if anybody's looking at building this model. Now I know this isn't the most complex model ever, but uh, to build them nicely does take a lot of time and effort. So uh, I think coming to the end of the construction here, I hope you appreciate the little photo shoot that I did with it uh, just before getting it ready for the actual test flights. Those flights will follow after the photo shoot, so enjoy that too. Hey guys, uh, I'm out at my local field doing a little bit of trimming on my brand new gollywalk. Excuse the uh, tape and press tick all over the place, all of course part of the trimming process. I just thought I'd share the performance of this model, it's absolutely incredible out the box. Um, have had a little bit of issues getting the CG and the incidents correct, but uh, it's going like a Boeing. Literally on 150 hand winds, uh, the field that I'm using, and I'll give you a quick idea of the size of the field, uh, gets very small very quick. <laughs> and um, yeah, it's deceptively large uh, compared to what the video makes it look. So it's quarter to 10 in the UK, absolutely pristine conditions, making every uh, opportunity I can out of the conditions. So um, yeah, let me see if I can film this. It's gonna be a bit tricky because once there's a bit of talk on the motor, you gotta hold tight, but uh, I'll do my best, hang tight. Okay guys, that's about 170 odd turns, which I know is um, tiny for the motor that's in this thing. Um, right now I can't remember exactly what it is, but uh, yeah, let's see if I can get a little bit of film of uh, a launch and a couple of glide circuits.
yeah, as you can see, I need to do a little bit of work on the turn radius and um, figure out whether she likes going left, right, 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 etc. I normally prefer right, right, but in this case, the model seems to be finding its way to left, right, and uh, thank goodness that's just inside the field. Is it in the field? Yeah, she knows where she belongs. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, lots of fun. See you around. Cheers. Hey guys, I'm out in my local field. Um, got about 250 hand wines in the Gollywalk. Um, having great fun with it, getting it trimmed out and so on. Uh, the DT is not set, but um, the air temperature is probably about 15 degrees or so and there's very little movement. So I think we're pretty safe, but uh, holding thumbs for that too. Uh, hope you enjoy this. Cheers. There we go, looks like we've run out of wines. I think I'll actually stand still so that the camera doesn't shake throughout the glide. Yeah, I don't think I can do a lot better in terms of trim. It's a little bit gusty at the moment, so there is a bit of movement, but um, CG looks really great. The airplane sort of self-stabilizes and comes out of any instability naturally. Let's hope that stays in the field. I think it just about will. Hence the reason why I've only wound it to 250 odd turns. I think any more would become a problem. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to start moving that direction. Don't know if you can actually still see it. We're still airborne at this point. Uh, gliding right in the corner of the field. Just supports a bit of reflection now. I'm about to touch down. I think that's it now. So this is where she landed. Couldn't have judged it much closer than that, could I? Um, the field is roughly uh, 250 odd meters, or closer to 300 I think it is actually, corner to corner. So yeah, I think uh, 250 wines is definitely the limit for tonight. <laughs> just thought I'd show you as well, this is the freewheeler in action. Um, just as I'm walking back to the launch point, uh, you can see it's really nice and free. And I think that's part of the reason why the glide is so good on the model is because uh, the prop's not interfering with the glide too much. That's it everyone, back to your building boards and I'll catch you in the next one.